June 27th, 1992. It's hard to remember that the most important part of an operation is patience. You can plan the perfect op, but you can't account for everything. If shit goes south, there's nothing to do but to adapt and finish the mission. Sometimes you just get lucky. I was in the dark, 10 clicks down river from the Valverde border, figuring out my next move. I was ready to pack it in. I mean, I thought that I learned everything that I could, that there was nothing left for me to find. The OWLF had abandoned the detonation site a year ago, and I thought that they already shipped back to America. That's when I saw Agent Peter Keyes tie his skiff to the dock. I mean, I haven't seen Keys since I gave my official statement to him. It was impossible, but there he was with three of his buddies. All agents. I mean, the clean, tidy outfits give them away all the time. I mean, they don't want to get down in the dirt, you see. That's what they pay soldiers to do. Keys walked up, looked right at me, and shook my hand. I mean, with the radiation sickness, the F lost a lot of weight, so I thought that he maybe would not recognize me, but then he greeted me like we were old pals. Keys is a good spy, saying nothing, implying everything. We spent the next few hours trading war stories at the bar. If you'd heard us, you would never have suspected that we were trading intel on an alien manhunter. His cover was that they have been looking for a serial killer, a sadist who has been operating in the area for years, hunting people like animals and then skinning them alive. Keys wanted to talk about the monster, so it all came out in the cover story. In many ways, they were just a few steps behind, surveying villages for information, locating witnesses. He did confirm one thing that only considered. He told me how the killer chose his victims. They were always armed a rifle, a pistol, a knife in the boot. He wasn't taking kids or random villages. He wanted a challenge. Whatever it was, it was a hunter. When it killed, it killed for sport. I wish they were here for a military action, recon for an invasion, but the truth was so much worse. We are prey, animals, fit only to be hunted. 
keys on his buddy's painted tab and mine, but before he left, he winked at me and he said, stay out of the jungle. That's where he gets you. I tracked Keys and his team for weeks, but they didn't learn anything new. Maybe they knew that I was there, maybe they didn't, I don't know. I've risked enough for now. I think it's time to disappear, keep my ear to the ground. Be patient. Sergeant Major, a terrestrial weapon was found inside the alien spacecraft um, bolt-action sniper rifle. Was this rifle assigned to you? It was, by my request. Was your rifle slung on your person when you fell asleep? No, but I was holding it. What did you do after landing? I did a supply check of my person and began to recon the area. I was disoriented. I worked under the assumption that I was on Earth but somewhere I'd never been. It soon became obvious that this was not the case. And how did you arrive at that conclusion? The combination of flora was wrong. Too many species together that shouldn't have been. Others that I couldn't identify at all. Were you alone during this time? At first. There were others. Not long after landing, I spotted an American mercenary, a Mexican cartel enforcer, and a Spetsnaz Special Forces soldier debriefing each other. I believe we were deployed to the planet at the same time. Over the course of several hours, we found two American serial killers, a Yakuza enforcer, and a member of a Sierra Leone RUF death squad. It didn't take long to see what we had in common. Killing. Yes. Yeah. Given the situation, we agreed to work together to find a way out of the jungle. After a short time, it became clear we were being pursued. Hunted. Can you expand on that? There were traps. Hunting animals used to flush us out. No shelters or signs of civilization. We concluded that the planet was a kind of preserve. We'd been brought there as prey. The whole planet was a game preserve? As far as we could tell, yeah. Of the eight of you, how many survived? Myself and the American mercenary. You get his name? Royce.